Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject, Advanced Manufacturing Processes, in the chapter of Unconventional Machining Processes, we have started the discussion based on various energy involved. So, Unconventional Machining Processes can be classified based on particular energy involved. Right, so in previous session we have discussed based on various energies like mechanical energy and in previous session we have discussed various processes based on mechanical energy and today we are going to start discussion on process based on chemical energy that is electrochemical machining. So in just previous session we have started the discussion based on chemical process or say chemical energy based process that is chemical machining. So let us start our discussion based on chemical energy process that is electrochemical machining. Right? So in previous session we have discussed the chemical machining and today we are going to discuss the process that is also based on chemical principle and that is electrochemical machining. So in just previous session we have discussed the principle of electrochemical machining. So just uh, I am repeating that principle. The principle is very simple. Here I mentioned the principal image for electrochemical machining process. So in electrochemical machining as per our discussion here voltage or current supply is given say DC voltage is given so here tool is connected with the cathode or electrode is connected with the cathode and your workpiece from which you are going to remove the material is connected with the anode right so here DC supply is given and here electrolyte liquid is used so this principle is very simple and the material removal is based on Faraday's law of electrolysis so we have discussed the uh, Faraday's law of electrolysis so the material removal is based on the chemical energy because here chemical reaction takes place and here electrolyte liquid is used right so generally NaCl sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 hydrochloric acid that is HCl etc all types of acidic solutions or some basic solutions can be used as electrolyte right so here electrolyte liquid is used also known as an electrolyte in simple words right so here i mentioned the image and the principle is very simple as per our discussion ion transfer or some material transfer takes place so what happens what do you mean by electroplating so let me introduce the electroplating concept first so as you all know in the electroplating the material will be transferred to the workpiece or say there will be a plating of material on the workpiece. So one best example is a gold plating. So if you want to do the plating of some material on your workpiece, it is known as electroplating. But here our purpose is to remove the material from the workpiece. So that is reverse electroplating and that is nothing but our electrochemical machining process in which material is removed from your workpiece. Right? So here I mentioned the setup for the same that is electrochemical machining. So here electrochemical machining construction setup is mentioned in this image. So here tool is that, your workpiece is that, pump is that, there will, there will be one reservoir of electrolyte in which electrolyte is filled. Pump and filter is also there, right? So here how we can remove the material, so we will discuss in this session. So first to be clear about all the components mentioned here, so here electrolyte supply is there with help of pump and filter here we can supply the electrolyte liquid, right? So here tool feeding mechanism or say here tool height setting mechanism is used. So here tool is set up with help of this mechanism or say gap between the tool and workpiece can be adjusted by this mechanism right so here i mentioned this mechanism and also the electrolyte supply system and also electric supply that is dc voltage supply right so here i also mentioned another view for the construction detail of this electrochemical machining right so electrolyte liquid is used here so as per our discussion workpiece tool electrolyte pump filter and also your servo mechanism that is for 
tool feed mechanism and also your electric supply right so these are the basic components of electrochemical machining so how can we do the machining or say how can we operate this electrochemical machining so here i mentioned the working for the same so generally uh, dc voltage is applied here and uh, by passing the current here through the electrolyte we can remove the material from the workpiece so what happens here so when you switch on the current the material from the workpiece will try to deposit on the tool but here continuously electrolyte is flushing or supplying between the tool and workpiece so the material removed will be transferred to the electrolyte and in the filter we can separate the scrap or the material removed and again we can supply the electrolyte so this is how material can be removed from the workpiece with help of this electrolysis principle right so here i mentioned all the details regarding the working right so here for the better understanding here i mentioned one video so from this video we will have an idea how ion can be transferred so here positive ion and negative ion will be combined and separated right so here just look this view for the electrochemical machining workpiece is that there will be one tool and from the workpiece ion will be transferred and this will be combined with the electrolyte and after the matter will be removed because with help of chemical reaction the matter particle will be converted into metal salt and that will be uh, converted into metal salt and that will be separated in the filter right so here just to see this view and uh, from this view we will have idea how we can remove the material so here material can be removed as per the shape of the tool so here we can machine our workpiece surface as per the tool shape so here just uh, from this view we will have an idea how we can remove the or say in which shape we can cut our material so just uh, see the machine view of your workpiece so we can cut our material as per the requirement right so here uh, based on this principle uh, let us discuss the components that are very important in the electrochemical machinery so here i mentioned the tool so tool is very important it should be electrically conductive so purpose of tool is nothing but here tool from the workpiece the iron or material will try to deposit on the tool so tool is connected with the cathode right so here electricity will pass through this tool material so your tool material must be conductive so here electrolyte will be passed through the tool right so tool is designed such a way that it will be a hollow section and your electrolyte will be passed through the tool so your tool should be uh, strong enough to withstand the pressure of the fluid right and it should be electrically conductive so here i mentioned various points that you should consider or say general requirement of your tool material right so your material will uh, such like it, you can easily work with the material or you can easily fabricate that particular material right so here i mentioned the various points regarding the tool material so electrolyte as per our discussion electrolyte is a liquid which is used for ion transfer right so generally hcl h h2so4 nacl solution in the water can be used as electrolyte right so you, your electrolyte should be inert and it should not do any chemical reaction or any harm to your electrode or tool right so uh, your viscosity should be optimum or say low viscosity is desirable so here i mention the various points regarding the electrolyte right so electrolyte is nothing but it is a liquid and it is used for the ion transfer right so here i mention the general characteristic or say requirement of the electrolyte material so it should have high specific heat and also non corrosive in nature so various types of electrolytes mentioned here in this slide can be used for machining right so electrolyte can be chosen from your material working it means for for which material you are going to machine or say uh, which material you are going to use in uh, that particular process and based on that you can choose your electrolyte liquid right so here i mentioned various types of electrolytes used so as per our discussion this process 
is electrochemical machining process. So any conductive material can be used in this process. So here there will be no direct contact between your tool and workpiece. So here wear and tear is almost absent or say your tool wear is absent here in this case. Right? So your cutting forces are absent. It means there will be no cutting forces or say no stresses are generated on workpiece as well as tool. Right? So any intricate or complex shape can be easily cut and here accuracy or say material removal accuracy is very high. So you can have a high tolerance or close tolerance with help of this process. Right? So these are, or say these are the advantages. At the same time, here I mentioned the limitations of the process also. So here current consumption is very high for this process. So it means here ampere current will be passed and this power consumption will be very high. And here the one limitation is that here you cannot go for any non-conducting material. So this process is used only for conducting material. Right? So here I mentioned the various limitations. So floor or space requirement is very high for this process. Right? So these are the main limitations that you should consider for electrochemical machining. Thank you all of you.